<laughs> this is the Krill Cast. I am Chris. Uh, I'm Will. And today is throw the throw the throwback Thursday. And mm-hmm. uh, Will is already bored of me after two weeks of filming this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're going to be Tired talking about Infamous 2. All right, Infamous Nothing two. important. <laughs> Infamous 2 is an action-adventure game developed by Sucker Punch Productions and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation 3 video game console. It is a sequel that, to the 2009... That needs to cover up. I didn't even see it. I wasn't paying attention. Um, it is a sequel to the 2009 video game Infamous announced on two, June 4, 2010, which they released date of June 7, 2011, which is why we're covering it this week. Um, the story follows protagonist Cole McGrath on his quest in Numere to grow powerful enough to become a, or to be able to face his nemesis, the Beast. Cole possesses mm. electricity based superpowers, which are used in combat and navigating the city. Uh, the player is given several opportunities to use these powers for good or for selfish purposes in the game's karma system, which I absolutely love the karma system in this game. I love games with karma systems. I know mm, it's me too. cliche and sometimes cringeworthy, but I think they're cool. Um, the karma system affects what powers become available and the reaction of the city's populace towards Cole. The development of the Infamous 2 project began immediately after Sucker Punch finished the first game, um, which was led by the returning game director Nate Fox. The game's music was composed by James Dooley, Brian Mantia, and the band Galactic, and Jonathan Mayer. Hmm. Both the game's music and fictional city were inspired by New Orleans. Jason Cottle, the original voice actor for Cole, was replaced by Eric Layden, which I actually did not know. As Sucker Punch yeah. wanted somebody who could perform Cole's physical reactions with motion capture, a new addition to the series. The game was generally well received. I really loved it. Um, praise was particularly directed at city design, traversal, and graphics, though it was criticized for its karma system, which I don't really understand why, and the camera. A standalone expansion called Infamous Festival of Blood <laughs> was released on October yeah, 25th, 2011. Infamous Second Son was a sequel. Uh, I'm sorry, Infamous Second Son was was the next in the series on the PlayStation 4 release worldwide, March 21st, 2014, which incidentally, I just finished the good route of, and I thought it was fantastic, although not as good as Infamous 1 and 2. Still mm-hmm. a great game, and I could not put it down. That That's a testament to how good it was. Oh, I'm going to be playing the evil route next, which is what I like to do is play the good route first, then go back and play the evil route, because the evil route usually is easier because you get okay. access to much more violent powers making it more fun it is a lot of fun but i highly i think that's the best way to play the infamous games is good route first evil route second because once you've played the good route you can just take off the chains pure freedom pure chaos and play the evil way <laughs> i love it i love doing that so just good mm-hmm. route keep yourself with the handcuffs on don't kill nobody and then you play the evil route and you're like oh time to go fee for all <laughs> Yes. So that is that is my favorite way to play these games. Especially since I always feel bad playing the evil route. So I don't want to do it first. I always put, feel bad and fable playing the evil route because they always make you feel so terrible for all the decisions. And just for the record, as an electrical engineer, I can say these powers are impossible to have. So you know. what? I have these powers, Chris. <laughs> okay, so here here's the deal. Um okay. Infamous 2 Festival of Blood, by the way, is really cool. I know you said it was intriguing. Basically mm-hmm. in that game. Um, they resurrect Bloody Mary as a vampire. Interesting, interesting. And she she steals your your uh, powers, the cult powers of Cole. While uh, not your powers, but like the conduit ability, which is what brings her back in the first place. They steal his blood. Why Bloody Mary? That's such a random Just, historical. Let character. me finish. So then she bites you, and you become a vampire. Bloody See, well, Mary's you, not a vampire. That's what <laughs> she is in this game. Um, <laughs> it's just go with it, okay? Anyways, you mean like the, the Queen of England, Bloody Mary, or someone else? It's like a Bloody Mary the Vampire, whatever that means. Okay. Anyways, the whole aim of the game is you get vampire powers on top of your infamous powers, which are electrical Interesting. based. So like, like you can fly as a, a group of bats across the town. Okay, I'm sold. <laughs> so the, the <laughs> only thing the only thing you have to keep in mind though is like in the original infamous, like you could bio leech which essentially you would steal like whatever conduit ability these normal people had it'd be like if a forced user could steal midi chlorians from an average civilian you can basically do that as coal well in festival of blood the only way to recharge your blood powers is to suck dry civilians like you automatically have evil karma even better if you so it's like the spider-man the ultimate spider-man game when you get to play as venom 
you just eat people. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. So, and there are in festival of blood. The only redeeming factor is there is no, uh, karma system in that game. It's just purely, do you want to kill people or do you want to just try and win it without, mm-hmm. and you can win the whole game just playing with Cole's electrical powers. Um, they only force you to suck the blood of one person just to show you what happens essentially when you do that. So, okay. Yeah, it's fun. Infamous 2, it's literally on my t- list of best games ever. Especially Would you say this PS3. is the best of the series or no? That's a hard one. I, I loved the first Infamous. That, that will always be my favorite only because I played it first. Okay. And I did not actually think that Infamous 2 did. like It's a great game. Okay, let me just put it that way. But I, I didn't feel like I was as invested in that one as I was in the first one. So, I don't know. Hard to explain, but I also played it at a weird point in my life, so maybe I should go back and replay Infamous 2. I mean, I platinumed okay. the game. I got literally every achievement in Infamous 2, so it's not a bad game. It's a great game. But I think Infamous 2 is better. Or Infamous 1 is better, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and I loved the comic book aesthetic from the first game, and they carried that over a little bit to the second game. It's just, if you like superhero games, if you like being the anti-hero this game series is great and infamous 2 is a great game although i think infamous 1 is better okay so um porting it to the ps5 that'd be a great idea i think they should do it i don't care who they pay to do it maybe the people that did the shadow of the colossus hd remake or remaster whatever they could do it no problem let's let's make it happen sony come on come on let's not leave these games buried Mm -hmm. And uh, I need that Kessler game that they never made. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of lore behind one of the characters in Infamous 1 that could easily be its own game. And uh, somebody used to make an Infamous lore channel. I don't think that exists. So, yeah, that'd that. be cool. Mm-hmm. As always, I'm Chris. I'm um, Will. And we will see you on the next Crowcast. Bye, guys. I need that electrical effect. What am I doing? Unlimited power. Oh.